Never fucked that one up. All right. Uh, we rolling. Welcome back to another episode. My name is Des. I'm Rebels. What's going on? What's up, dude? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Let me play my drop real quick. They ain't flag us either, so that's oh, they good. they did? Nah. Usually what happens in YouTube, like if you put like that shit in YouTube or some shit, then yeah. it'll automatically do like a, like they'll silence the shit out or some right. shit like that. You know what, what about saying? TikTok? They ain't do that. I, I didn't put that part on TikTok. Okay. You know what I'm saying? With them videos, it's just, uh, yeah, I didn't put that part on there. So. Yeah, man. Um, I think this is episode five for Revels. For me, it's like, I don't even know. I'm not counting um, anymore. But yeah, we... Um, uh, this is probably going to be one of them short ones because <laughs> uh, I'm beat. I don't know how you feel. Matter of fact, let me ask you. How you feeling? How um, was your week? A week? A uh, week was pretty uh, week was pretty cool. I was really chilling, man. But I, I got a lot of energy. I went to the gym, um, mm-hmm. say some food. I'm really chilling. I got some work to do on the computer. Um, but, yeah, I got enough energy to last me through the night. But I'm trying to, you know, now I'm trying to go to bed kind of early and stuff like that. Like at oh, least okay. nine, okay. ten, because I be trying to wake up early, so I don't be trying to be up all night. Right, right. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you feeling? How everything going your well, way? Then you go to Louisville, right? Yeah, I went to Louisville for Easter. Uh, my girl's family. Um, it was cool, you know. We we uh we ate. You know what I'm saying? She Ooh, got a lot good. of kids in her family, bro. It's a lot of kids. For real? Yeah, man. Ooh, like good. I don't have that. Um, I don't have a lot of kids in my family, bro. Like. Well, it's it's so she she got like seven sisters, seven or eight sisters or some some shit like that. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I don't have a lot of kids in my family, and it's just a lot of kids. That's <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So right. now, nah, but it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Chill with the fam, and we ate. They had like an Easter basket for us. Oh, I got this gum in my mouth. I'm tripping. All right, I'm back. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. On that last episode, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You was chewing on on gum, and I wanted to tell you that like that's a that's a no no when it comes to um, radio shit, podcast, and all the type of shit. You don't really post chew gum. Why you? Why you? You know what I'm saying? And I saw that I was like, damn, this nigga was chewing gum, but it wasn't that bad. Like, like I don't think he was like, chopping like I think it. I heard you chopping on it like one time or some shit like that. And I was like, I just gotta let that nigga know. Anyway, uh, what was it? Oh, went to Louisville. It was yeah. cool. Uh, it was a day trip. Uh. Yeah, man, we we sat around and ate and chilled out and you know what I'm saying it was it was cool it was a vibe. Um, I uh, my girl's mother is big on sports, so yeah. I told her to throw on the game for me. You know what I'm saying? First round, first round playoffs. playoffs is is Damn. here, uh, definitely here. I really like. Let's just go into this right now. I really okay. like the uh, the Memphis and. Uh, Minnesota series. I really like that. Um, I like that series. I did watch that game. Uh, and it was a really, really good, good game. Um, I asked my line brother this yesterday. I was like, who's the better? And I, I, I'll, I'll ask you right now. Who's the better player between Anthony Edwards and LaMelo? Ooh. Honestly, you know, uh-huh. like all, like all the, like, like when it comes to accolades, as and you know, he said nobody cares about accolades when it comes to basketball, but just all around player, not for what they do, because yes, Lamelo is a point guard, and Anthony Edwards is like a two guard who can play point or play the three. You know what I'm saying? But as far as far as all around player or just a who who who's the better player in in your opinion? Ooh, I might have to call one of my boys on that one because that that's that's tough. That's literally tough. You wanna phone a friend? <laughs> now nah, that's that's a that's a that's a, that's just a tough that's a tough um comparison, bro. Because you gotta think one six seven and one is like six four. You know, and I think it just depends on who you, what you're looking for. But um, in my franchise kid, I probably will go. With Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards. I, I said that. I said that. I mean, he, he went Lamelo, and I'm just kind of like Anthony. Edwards I like Lamelo, but um, nah. I just think just the off the court shit that Anthony Edwards give you more in the long term. What you mean by off the court shit? Like 
you know, like in the press and media, or social media, different things like yeah, that. Yeah, just it's your, this is your franchise kid. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you say. You don't think Lamelo is a franchise player? I do. I, I think do. he's a franchise. I I think Lamelo. Hmm, that's a good way to look look at it. I think Lamelo can have the potential to the potential, and I think that's where that's where um, that's how you differentiate those two. Okay, you're right about Anthony Edwards being a franchise player. Okay, don't know about Lamelo. Lamelo might need a another person over there with him to be. Um, Damn dog. It's the win. So, um, I phoned a friend. Everybody, I phoned a friend. We about to, we about to get his perspective, man. Yo, yo, we got. Oh yeah, we yo, got, can you hear me? Y'all can hear you. Hey, hey. what's going on, man? What's your name? Uh, my name's Lord. What's up, bro? Lord. <laughs> yeah, like Jesus, Lord. Like Lord, like like. Yeah. Never mind, I ain't gonna say. Hey, hey Lord. <laughs> um, what, what's your um, what's your IG? We about to put it down on the, on the thing. You gotta you gotta say your IG. Uh, my my IG is Junior Mints underscore Junior Mints underscore. You hoop, bro? No, I don't hoop like that. I hoop for fun. Well, I mean, that's he, what I mean. Like, he's hooped against me before. He okay. Hoop. Yeah. Are you? Uh, would you consider yourself a a a, a basketball? I want to say basketball god as far as knowledge, but this ba- like yeah, this basketball is uh, connoisseur. Yeah, like I know about ball, like knowledge and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we on a you you live on the podcast, so don't say nothing to incriminate yourself or others. Um <laughs> I asked uh Revels, because we talking about the first round of the playoffs. I asked Revels, I was like, I asked my line brother this yesterday, and I said, Who's the better player? I got two questions. I didn't ask a second okay. question because he said he wanted to phone a friend. So now we're talking to you. But I asked you these two questions. Okay. Who's the better player between, and I mean all around player, between Anthony Edwards and LaMelo Ball? Oh, that's tough. That's a tough like, one. But like if you a GM, who you going, who you going to like, right, who, right, who's your franchise? Who, who I could see like a potential that could bring a brighter future for the team? Yeah. I'll say, I'll say, Mellow. Mm. Ooh. Why I don't know, though? bro. I'm choosing Anthony Edwards. <laughs> why are you choosing LaMelo? I mean, I could, I, could, I could see why due to how he's playing this year. You know, he's brought a lot of impact to the team. He's making his plays better, including Cat, which is surprising. You know, he's the rook, basically. And he has Cat, you know, bringing out his confidence in his game. You feel me? But I feel like Mellow all around, he's a better player, in my opinion. I mean, Ant, he's great too, but... We've seen it for the past two years, what bello has been doing for the Hornets. I mean, yeah, despite they ain't make it through to the playoffs, but you got to be also, you got to be, you got to remember too as well that they got a team in comparison to the Hornets. I mean, they got more lethal weapons in comparison to, to the Hornets. So if you look, they won due to Pat Bev, you know, the defense and who else? Cat, you know, I mean, he played, game, I think the first playing they play, he played horrible but the second one he, he went crazy at the end of the day it was a team factor but individually i don't know my opinion i, I think mellows you going mellow all right yeah all right so my second question and i pretty sure i think we all i think this is going to be an easy one anthony edwards ja morant oh that's a tough one. Come how is on. that? How is that Ooh. tough? You not going John Morant I mean, I mean, <laughs> like off the bat? I'm gonna go with John. Ja. I'm gonna go with yeah, John ja. Morant, bro. I'm gonna like, go with John. Ja. There's no no doubt, no doubt. I'm gonna go with John. Ja. Yeah. It's tough though, but John ja is, is an overall better player. Okay, course. and yeah. Ja or Trey Young? Ja, Ja. Come on, I'm going bro. with Ja. No goddamn ja. well. Ja. Are we, ja. Hey, hey, hey Lord, hey Lord, we get we get another call. We gonna we gonna drop this when we get another call. All right. I bet that. All right, take care, y'all. All right. Yo, we got another call. Um, <laughs> this is a radio yo, station. Yo, yo, what's, good? <laughs> what's good, yo? You hear me? Yo, yo, we doing a podcast. We we uh, we answering people's questions. Yo, what's your name, bro? My name Jay. Jay, what's going on, Jay? I don't know. You could preface it, bro. Well, I didn't expect uh, like this wasn't <laughs> a, a what what was part of the podcast. It's just all organic, man. We I I I asked Revels. And my he, name is Dez. He can answer this because he's a basketball coach. He can answer these questions. I work. I work. Are you? Uh, where are you coaching at? 
you don't have to give like the the school, just the state or the city. I'm in New York. New York. Oh, word, word up. Um, so I was sitting here asking this guy, um, uh, about the first round of the playoffs, and I prefaced the question with, "Who's the better player between Anthony Edwards and Lamelo Ball?" Right. What you say? What I say? Yeah. I say Anthony Edwards. Why? Because I think Anthony Edwards is, as far as all-around player, as far as accolades, even though some people think accolades don't matter, um, as far as just just him being, if I'm taking Anthony Edwards alone, and I'm a GM, I'm taking him before LaMelo. Why? Because I just think he's a better player. Is that enough? Is that enough? Is that enough of a reason? I mean, you? I think so. I mean, it depends on. I think it all depends on. Maybe it's a personal time. preference for me. I don't have when you when you ask me why I don't I don't I'm not knocking Lamelo. Uh, for me, Lamelo is a great basketball player. But as far as like where I I see the potential of Anthony Edwards versus Lamelo Ball, I'm going with Anthony Edwards over Lamelo Ball. Lamelo, he can shoot his lights out. He's a great point guard. I just think as far as just a player who I'm choosing to take my franchise somewhere, I'm choosing Anthony Edwards. I feel you. I mean, I think it depends on the on the makeup of your roster. You know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. if you need a point guard, and obviously you go with Melo, you need a motherfucker that's going to play on both ends. You know what I'm saying? Score the ball at a high level. Toughness. I like Anthony Edwards. I don't think you can go wrong. I think it depends on what you need, though. You feel me? All right. I got another one for you. Anthony Edwards or John Morant? I'm going Ja. I mean, Ja's a kid. Ja all star. Same, same. You know what I'm saying? Ja, I mean, Ja, ja done proved he's, he's a little more proven. Like, Ja, one of them guys. Ja, ja on his way. Shit, he might already arrive for real, for real. He got them boys in the playoffs. They went at a high level. Them boys did. They, they didn't turn Memphis up. Right, right. Exactly. Trey Young or Ja Morant? That's tough. You think that's tough? What? How? I mean, Trae, Trae, How is that? Trey Young. <laughs> Trey Young, he has the most total points and assists in the NBA this season. Maybe I'm just not the. I don't know if I'm I'm on the hype train of like the point guards that can shoot real good, like the shooters. Like I'm not a big Steph Curry fan. I I, I respect this game, but I like the point guards that can facilitate and and as far as scoring, they looking in the paint first. Not trying to shoot threes. I think I'm just still in that bag of you know what I'm saying when it comes to point guards who can score and shit like that. Um, I feel you, man. I think I think you know the more shit. A lot of it used to be back in the day the two guard was the primary scorer. The Kobe's, the Jordans, the the off guard was the guy that scored. But nowadays, man, these it's a rare, it's a rarity to have a pass first pure point guard, man. A lot of these hybrid point guards are the ones that's getting shit. Nowadays, you want you want to get a max dollars. You want to get a max contract? You got to be Damian Lillard. You got to be John Moran. You got to be you got to be John Wall to get ninety million. You got to be able to score the ball at, the, at that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, hey, can I, I ask I another question? How old are you, bro? Go ahead. I'm 26. All right, word, word. Hey, man, I'm gonna let you know this is real organic, bro. Like it's it's we didn't have no plans to. Well, I asked Rebels this question and. He was kind of startled, and then I was, and then he was like, "I think I want to phone a friend," and I'm like, "All right, well, go ahead." <laughs> and then man, you called listen, it. Listen, all I'm gonna say is, man, I think you got to separate what's pleasing to the eye and what the numbers look like. Especially if you talk about being the GM. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's all about the numbers. It's all about the fit of your team. It's all about what makes sense for y'all to be able to win. You know what I'm saying? I think you got to separate what, what what you like to see than what your team needs. Though you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a different. Right, right. Who you got in the first round of every series? Shit, scream the series out to me. I'll tell you. Uh, Memphis, Grizz, uh, Memphis, uh, Minnesota. I'm gonna go Memphis. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Uh, Chicago, Bucks. Bucks. <laughs> hey, Giannis got like two. I think Giannis gonna get him like two more. Damn near. <laughs> he, he might get two, three more the way he playing. That, that man. <laughs> I should have Chico. Yeah, man. I'm a uh I'm a Chicago I'm from Chicago and I'm a Chicago fan, so we ain't gonna get into that. <laughs> I figure if we get one of these first two games, 
we got a chance. Now we already I lost ain't game ain't one. I mean, I, I mean, hey, look, I, I, look, I got you one hundred percent. I understand what you're saying. Giannis is a, a, a dog out there. They got a team. They won last year, right? Yeah, man. If yeah. we take one of these first two, if we steal one of these first two, I'm telling you, it's a chance, bro. I'm telling you. Used you used to hoop? Yeah. Where you played at in high school? Uh, I played for Paul. I ain't. Went, I didn't play all four years. I played my last year. We're talking about your brother. Where you, you played at? at? I played at Paul Robeson High School in Chicago. My my look. You said talking about my brother. Yeah, your brother played college ball, don't he? No. College ball? Yeah. No. High school ball. No. Oh, I thought he no. Played. No. I, I mean, he played for Curie oh. all all four years, but uh, um, I mean, I didn't play long enough to be what you talking about bro like i like i didn't play like like i played outside i played aau a little bit around your age though who was the guy like when you was in high school who was that guy what, what you know what i'm saying like who'd you go as with, far as nba you player or is as far as just who i was playing against who you was playing against like who was the best like, player NBA, in your state who the top guy was it jabari was it d rose i don't know how old you are like, oh i'm 29 the guy the guy uh it, it was d rose it was Rose. They told me Pat Bev was the truth out there too back in high school. Pat Bev was a few years before my time. I didn't start like I didn't. I, did, I mean, I've been a Chicago fan for the longest, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't start recognizing people coming out of high school and going to college until um, D Rose or a few years before D Rose uh, to be one thousand with you. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. But yeah, so. but D Rose, and then after D Rose, it was Jabari, and then. Um, I mean, if you want to go way back, what's Buddy name that played for Curry? That played for the uh, for the Bulls. Man, what's his name? Big man. Uh, hold on, I'm about to try to find it. Um, NBA. You headed to the crib, bro. Yeah, I'm headed to the crib right now. What's the podcast name, bro? On to the next podcast. On to the next. Yeah, it's like our uh, fifth episode. Huh? Fifth episode. Episode five. Yeah. What's the topics today, man? What we talking about? We talking. Oh, we, what's the rest of the What's the rest of the series, man? What we got. We got. What else we got in the, in the playoffs, bro. Eddie Curry. Oh, Eddie Curry. Okay. Eddie Curry. Now that's that's way that's way that's long long time ago. Yeah, but I know he I he he played for the Bulls a little bit. Uh, um. Yeah, he, he played for the Bulls a little bit. Played for the Lakers and shit too. He was a killer. Yep, he from Harvey too, where I was born. He played for Chicago in two thousand one and two thousand five. Played for New York. Oh, played for Miami. Harvey? My man, my man's from Harvey. He, he played out there in Harvey. Hey, hey, where's Thornton at? Thornton in Harvey. Thornton is in uh shit. I think Thornton is in. I don't want to be wrong. I don't. I don't even want to be wrong, bro. Hold on, let me figure oh, that okay. out. I think that's not your. I think Thornton in Harvey. Nah, that's not Harvey. I think that's like Hillcrest or some shit like that. Oh, okay. Or Dalton. Yeah, I got some killers out there. And it's a bunch. It's hella. It's hella hoopers out that way. Yeah, you right. You absolutely right. Is it Harvey? Thornton Township High School, Harvey, Illinois. Yep. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, man. It. Nah, the. Uh, I mean, as far as what we got on the topics, I mean, I said this was gonna be a real short episode, but the way Revels just. Uh, Spring these calls on me is it was real organic. Um, but I mean, we ain't got too much. I wanted to ask him some more about the NBA and the series. Oh, we were talking about the series. So you said Bucks over Chicago, uh, yeah. Celtics, Brooklyn. Oh man, yeah, that's a tough one. I don't, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Brooklyn, bro. Brooklyn, yeah, I'm going Brooklyn, man. All right, I think. I, th- I don't think that KD going to play that bad again. He has six turnovers. He ain't played like KD. And Kyrie, I think he can – that boy's different. And did you see the game yesterday? Yeah, I watched I watched the whole joint. Does Jason that, Tatum and Jalen Brown have enough juice? Do they have for, enough juice? They force the game six. They kill us, bro. Them, yeah, hey, they kill us. And I really like the way they play hard as hell. Like, Marcus Smart – Defense player of the year like, about an hour ago. Killer. Oh, yeah, they just gave it to him? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No arguments over this way with that one. He a dog. Honestly, bro, I'm taking the Celtics. And you know the reason why? 
is because Brooklyn does shit like that, what they did yesterday. They gave that game away. They they ha- they they basically handed them that game. I think your opinion is based off regular season. No, <laughs> that's not. That's, it's, the, that's it's the only. Not. That's the only way you can make that judgment. I I watched the game, but I'm saying that's the only way you can make that judgment. How you make because what was because you said regular season? No, yeah. I watched the game. We in the playoffs. I don't think I you watched. watched the, I don't game. think you watched the Bulls enough though. You watch the Bulls. What are you talking? We're not talking about the Bulls. We're talking about I mean, the Celtics. Uh, yeah, no. The <laughs> Nets. I watch the Bulls. No. Do you watch the the Nets enough to know? Because you making that judgment. I mean, I think that the playoffs is totally different, bro. I, I understand. It's totally I understand different, 100 percent what you're saying. But I watched that game yesterday. Yeah. And I'm saying that I'm taking the Celtics because you can't game. lose games like that in the NBA. That that one game can change the trajectory of this whole thing. So the Celtics can come in and be like, they gave us that game, or, or we got that game. What was it, 15 seconds left? They can't do that. Or, never, or five seconds left? It, like That won't happen in Brooklyn, wow. though. Hey, you know. I mean. But the biggest play of the game, man, to me, is when they doubled Kyrie that, on that last possession when Brooklyn had it. When they sent the, when they sent the double team at Kyrie and they made him give it up, that was the biggest part of the game. I mean, I know they the, everybody gonna look at the game winner, but I think that defensive possession that Boston had when they sent two at Kyrie was the was the best play they could have made. Because if if one on one on the island, it's over with. Right. Pack it up. Ain't nobody yeah. going that man one on one. Yeah, man. Uh, hold on. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. So so, seventy sixes Raptors. You going seventy sixes? We all going seventy six. For sure. Mavericks Jazz. But, Mavericks, Jazz, shit. It depends on how healthy Luca can get. I'm gonna go like healthy Luca. Uh, you feel me? Like, but I don't know. So right now I'm gonna go Jazz, just because I'm, I'm the health of Luca is kind of questionable right now. Is he playing? I don't know, man. They, I know they said that he was slowly starting to get back. I saw that he was doing. I think they said he's gonna do walkthrough, but I don't know, man. All right. Well, if he's not playing, then they they're not winning that one. Uh, we we going with the Suns off back. For sure. They just cracked them first game. Um, Golden State Nuggets. Golden State. They talk about Jordan Poole. That's what y'all need to be talking about. He about to get a max contract. You think so? They about to you think him, is it, this is what? a year? They about to give him 90. They about to give him 90. I don't know if he's going to get a max because they got so I don't even know if they can afford to max him out, but they're going to give him 100 damn near. If that ain't the max, they're going to give him. They probably going to rookie max him, which is I don't know what that'll be. Like, whatever it is, whatever that number is, he's going to get it. Yeah, I ain't see his. Yeah, ain't he, see his he, he's a rookie. Predator. I'm not too he's, familiar uh, with Jordan Poole, so he may, it might be his second year. Oh, okay, but, okay. I, but but I'm saying he on his rookie contract. Okay, 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 okay. He on his rookie contract and it's about to be over with going into the summer. And they they show his production, and it's like it's like tw- he like 21 million dollars over what his production is supposed to be for what he getting paid. They about to cash that boy out. Well, he had 30 points last game. Who is this guy? <laughs> From Michigan. Kelly played at Michigan. He a guard? What Man, the fuck? I'm going to have to watch him in the playoffs. I'm going to have to uh, get him. He's really field not, I'm, I'm, not, um, I'm not too familiar with him. He's Phil Clay Thompson's role. Oh, did he? What happened to Clay Thompson? Wasn't he back before the playoffs? Did he get injured again? No, nah, he back. He's he back. Yeah, he back. Well, what the I'm fuck? Still Clay. Yeah. I don't know. He's just a young boy coming out. You know how that shit go. Uh, oh, Thompson had nineteen. Okay, who else? Yeah, Clay still list? Clay. Now you can't own disrespect. Nah, this nah, this dude Jordan, uh, uh, who y'all talking about? He had 30, 30 points in thirty minutes, three assists, yeah, one like, one rebound. Like, nah, 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 I gotta watch him. I'm a I'm a attempt to watch every game this series. I'm probably missing some games right now, but uh, last one, last one, Hawks and Heat. Hello. Yeah, I'm going Heat. Heat, all right, cool. Dang. Yeah, they the tough. They the, I think they. I think they toughness. Them, them boys tough as hell. Heat tough. They just. I don't know, man. I just. I think them. They dogs down there. Trey gonna kill. I think. I think. I think. I think Trey gonna get off regardless. But I just think they. I think the playoffs, man, and the physicality. I think it's gonna wear on them, boy. Hmm. Shit, all right, bro. Appreciate right, you man. hopping Appreciate on the call, man. Appreciate you calling, man. Yeah, that was what's, what's up. up? Yeah, I'm holler, all, right. all right. Damn. That took up some time. 
Yeah, it did. Who is these niggas you calling, man? No, <laughs> what they no, call? Well, well my, I called my boy first. Right, right, right. And then nah, my boy Jalen called right after that. No, nah, I'm just playing, man. I, I appreciate Jalen. Appreciate uh, Lord, Lord. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, that's that's content. We appreciate that. Uh, that insight, yeah, and we'll, um, we'll put that Instagram yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, we'll put that shit down there. Um, let's see what else we got. We spent too long on that. Yeah, yeah. The ladies has have left the building. Uh, if you had one animal to protect, no. Don't don't you gotta let me preface that question. Okay, go ahead. Let, <laughs> let, let me let, let me preface that okay. question All right. because I just wrote it yeah. short like that. Okay. But the real question is, yeah. Um, and I got this from another podcast. The real question was if you had one one animal to protect you, mm-hmm. if you had one animal to protect you, what animal what animal would that be? Probably uh and I'm gonna go deeper into like I'm a I'm gonna go deeper into the question, ask a whole different question. You know what I'm saying? Because when I when I heard the shit or when I heard that question, I started thinking about other other shit to ask. So, but let's just go with that one first. Right. Um, one animal to protect you, like um um, what's that fucking movie that had like an animal or like uh, like Harry Potter or some shit like that? I don't know if you ever watched Harry Potter. But they always had like an animal with them. Like Harry Potter had an owl or some shit like that. But anyway, if you had one animal to protect you, which one would it be? I I don't know. That's a good question. You said what? That's a great question. I don't I don't really know. Probably a gorilla. Gorilla? Yeah. Okay. Why? I think because it's the strongest animal in the jungle. Is it? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And I think that. They're smart enough. They're primates. Okay. okay. Am I right? They are. And I think <laughs> I, don't, I don't know too much. I mean, I think it, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a primate. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that that I, I ain't motherfucking Steve Oro one or no shit like that. I don't know <laughs> a whole lot of shit about animals, but yeah. I think that would be probably that's probably okay. Okay. The best thing to protect me for I, me. I'm going. Uh, I'm going grizzly bear. Huh? I'm going grizzly bear. Grizzly bear? Yeah. Why would you go a grizzly bear? Because I think that a grizzly bear is a beast for an animal, honestly, to, to for you to protect them. Uh, Same. Okay. Okay. I, I, I get that. Yeah. I think I'm going grizzly bear, bro. What like ki- the like okay. the biggest one. Let's see. What kind of grizzly bear? I mean, it's just one. It's just one. It's it's the only thing. It's a grizzly bear. <laughs> you said the biggest one in the. In, it's in, a. In the they place. got a bite force of ninety seven nine hundred and seventy five psi. Mm-hmm. The mass. Oh, excuse me. They get up to six hundred pounds. Right. Fem, uh, the males get up to six hundred pounds. The females get up to two uh, two ninety or four forty. Whatever the biggest bear is, that's right. the one that I want protecting me. Honestly. Whatever the biggest biggest grizzly bear is, that's that's the one I want to uh, be protecting me. Okay, gorilla. Let's see what the gorilla is. Uh, apes and gorillas are the same thing, right? No. I sound, no. Oh, a gorilla has a bite force bite force of thirteen hundred psi. Okay, what's that? That's pretty good. What's that mean? PSI. Yeah. Uh, I think PSI me like the bite force, like the pounds, the pounds. Pounds pounds per square inch is is a bite force. So how he, so how heavy how heavy it bites? <laughs> What's some shit like that? I don't what know. the hell? All right, but anyway, but now we about to go deeper into this shit. So f- for land, what land animal, what sea animal, and what flying animal would you have? Or uh, give me some categories of land animal. Any animal that. That you could be around that, that walks on land. <laughs> Any land animal, like an elephant or something, whatever. Uh, you know, like, like you know, like any any land animal, bro. Like, um, okay, an uh, elephant, definitely elephant, uh, the okay. biggest one, flying animal, a hawk, a hawk, or you might get your ass, nah, or a bat, a bat, really. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, give me a sea animal. Uh, nah, an owl. I'll do an owl. A sea owl? animal? Yeah, a sea animal. Uh, now we talking about protecting you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> he said uh, an elephant. A dolphin. A, a bat, a dolphin to protect you. Yeah, to protect you. Um, right. the, 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 that one dolphin. Not a shark. I don't want a shark. Cause a shark could turn. Yeah, just say dolphin. I like like it's just yeah. Dolphin. It's a it's a it's a certain. I'm telling you, my choices is probably getting yours the fuck out of here. You All right, an elephant. A, yeah, an elephant is tough. Other animals are scared of elephants. They don't yeah, bother elephants. An elephant. Is a cheetah won't eat an elephant. A lion won't eat an elephant. Right, right. An elephant is tough to protect you on on, on land. Um, I think for mine, bro. I think I'm gonna go with. That's a good ass choice because I would have picked that one so bad, but I'm not trying to because you picked that one. Hmm. I'm going rhino. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rhinoceros. No, I'm gonna go lion for land animal to protect me. Okay. Either lion or grizzly bear. Okay. So okay. The flying one. Yeah. I'm going eagle. Fly like an eagle. <laughs> the sea one. I'm going giant squid. Or killer whale, orca, orca. Okay. Yeah. I was listening to a podcast. I I thought that was a great question to ask, or just to get all into some some other shit. But you can thank Sue Surf for that. Shout out Sue Surf, bro. You uh you listen to battle rap? Yeah, I listen. You to don't listen to no fucking battle rap. Uh-huh. I promise you. Yeah, man. I listen to battle rap. What you got on yours? Oh, on oh, mine. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, if you had a million dollars, what would you do right now? With it? A million? A million dollars right now. What would you do? I'm taking half of it and investing in, in one of these Fortune 500 companies. Uh-huh. So you're taking 500,000? 500, no, 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 no. I'm going to take a, a quarter of it and invest in one of these. Fi- uh, so what's that? Um, That's 250. To where? Where are you taking it to? It depends on what a market is. Okay. Or, or the market of it is. Okay. Let me, can I have three? Mm-mm, just like, one. Like, no, no, no. No, <laughs> no, I'm saying, can I have three choices or you just want me to choose one? No, it don't matter. Just know, I just want to know where, okay. you, where you're taking it to. What Apple, mm-hmm. Tesla. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Twitter. Okay. Okay. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll stay there. Apple, Tesla, or Twitter. I'm taking 250 and investing into one of those. It's going to investments. Where is the rest of it going? Uh, the rest of it is going to go to... Now I got... How much I got left? 750? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm taking... I'm going to divvy up... <clears throat> I'm gonna divvy up another hundred thousand. That leaves me sixty-five or six hundred and fifty. Okay. I'm gonna take a hundred thousand and do what? And spread it? it out between my family. Okay. This is what I wanted to know. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. I'm, I'm still, I'm still. Well, I'm, we going deep into your answer. That answer, right? Particular. Because I knew, right, go ahead. I knew he was going to say that. Okay. You taking a hundred thousand to your family? Yeah, sp- spread that hundred thousand out, and they and put their names. I mean, I'm not gonna say their names. Okay, but mom, just... mom, mom's getting a hundred thousand. Mom's getting mom's <laughs> damn. Yeah, she want hundred thousand. Yeah, a hundred thousand. Moms can get fifty. Because I still, I still got six hundred and fifty. Well, you said a hundred thousand. But though. listen, listen. I'm going di- I'm to take 100000 I'm going yeah. to divvy up between the family. But what I'm about to do with this six hundred fifty is going to continue to bring in more money. But you trying to you go want- deeper to it. Just how no, much- I'm not. I'm, I'm telling you what the fuck I'm doing. It is $100,000. i am you- taking 100000 and I'm divvying it up to my family. I'm gonna how give, much your mom I'm going to give my mom <laughs> 20 racks. She heard you. She's That's watching fine. you. Okay. She's going to take that 20 racks. I'm, it's gonna be more where that came from. Okay, I got. I still got six hundred and fifty. Okay, I'm taking. I'm, I'm taking and giving her twenty. Okay, have, have, answer this. I'm taking my dad. I'm gonna give my dad about ten. Out of a hundred thousand. <clears throat> from a hundred thousand, how much I got left? Uh, six. 
a hundred thousand. Oh, you talking about out of minus twenty? That's eighty. Minus twenty thousand at eighty. Minus that. All right, so I got seventy thousand left. Um, how much your sister get? How much my sister get? Yeah, my sister gets seven thousand. That's a weird number. Minus <laughs> <laughs> seventy versus seven thousand. Subtract track seven thousand. Minus minus ten thousand. That's seventy. Minus seven thousand. Seven thousand. <laughs> All right, I got sixty three. Seven thousand. Right, I'm giving my grandma. I'm giving my grandma ten thousand. Minus okay. ten thousand. Okay. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give my. I'm thinking. This is how I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving. Uh, uh, who else? Who else? I said my dad. I'm gonna give my Your little brothers. brother uh-huh. seven thousand. I'm gonna give my other little brother five thousand. <laughs> I don't know why you think this is funny, bro. <laughs> it is funny. Oh, uh, let's see. I got forty one out of that hundred thousand left. Uh, forty one out of that hundred thousand left. Let's see. I'm gonna give my big cousin, my big cousin. <laughs> I'm gonna give my, I'm gonna give my cousin ten thousand just because he don't need it. He's gonna, you gonna give me ten thousand? What's this for? Don't worry about it. He'll take it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give him ten thousand. Is that thirty one thousand left? I got thirty one thousand left. I said my grandma already. I'm gonna give Auntie. I'm gonna give my two my two cousins on my father's side and they mother mm-hmm. twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. And they can divvy a debt up however much they want to. I got ten thousand left. Okay. Let's see. I think I hit everybody. Oh, I gotta get my auntie uh I gotta give my auntie five thousand because she helped me out uh, with me with my uh, yeah she helped me out on some stuff mm-hmm. so I gotta give her five thousand I got five thousand left I still got six hundred and fifty over here in the bank though okay. so I just want you to understand that okay um, but they can't get that they can't touch that this no, is what you give no them. <laughs> this is the hundred thousand that I'm divvying up between the family uh, and then that other five thousand. Um, I don't know. I, I'm gonna give that other five thousand to my great grandmother. So yeah, my great grandmother, she's gonna get five thousand. Okay, so cool. Yeah. What about you? Did I did I talk too long on that? <laughs> I, mean, I still got six hundred and fifty that I could work with. Yeah, where's where you going with that? With though? that one, I, I'm how I'm much not you give going, yourself? I like how much you put into yourself for yourself? How much I'm putting to the side for myself for your checking account? I think I think I think for my checking account. <clears throat> For my checking account, I'm gonna do. I still got six hundred and fifty. I'm gonna do a hundred thousand for myself, just in my checking account, yep. like just having my checking account. Correct. Okay, I'm gonna do a hundred thousand. Okay. And then, uh, what I got? What I got? Six, uh, five, five, five hundred fifty. Still, I had six hundred and fifty at first, right? Yeah. I don't know. These numbers might be all wrong. But I think I got five five hundred and fifty. Yeah. Um, I'm taking that and I'm either buying a franchise of something, so a Chick Fil A or or a Harold's Chicken or some. I'm buying a franchise somewhere. Harold's Chicken is not big enough. Let's or get is the it? Fuck out of here! I could put a Harold's Chicken in Cincinnati right now and make millions of dollars. A Definitely. Harold's Chicken. Harold's Chicken. Yes. I don't know if you could. All right. You. All right. There's no Harold's Chicken out here. There's, I, like, exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Ain't no Harold's Chicken out here. You know how much money I make off Harold's Chicken? Uh, I can franchise Harold's Chicken. You want to franchise Harold's Chicken before you do Chick Fil A or like Smoothie King or something like that? Yes. Well, I would franchise. Her- you better Fam, doing- Do you know how much money I will make off a of Harold's Chicken where franchise? You, where you Where you putting it at Cincinnati? I'm putting it right in the hood. What do you mean? I'm putting this. You know what? I might not. I might not put it in the hood. I might put it in the, like a middle point between like the hood and that's it. That's a white folks. That's a come, conversation like, like for another for another day. For yeah, sure. but I'm putting it somewhere where I can get my people and I can get some other people's money. Mm. Okay, so oh, we I'm investing in the business and then the I'm call. getting some uh some uh I'm getting some uh some prop uh some some real estate. Okay. So yeah, that's that's what I do with it.
we we got Jose. We're, we're on the podcast. What's up, man? We uh we got Dez and uh, Rebels on the podcast. If okay. you had a million dollars right now, what would you do with it? Uh, I would try to buy a million dollars worth of groceries, bag it up, and try to feed the world and save the world and stop hunger. And uh, that's a real business. unselfish answer, bro. Yeah, that's yeah this my it's my brother Reggie. My yeah, phone's yeah, on. You on Facetime or yeah, you just yeah, call me Facetime? Yeah. What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? That's a real unselfish answer. Yeah, man. My, you know what? You, you know what? My, mine's was my. I'm I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but mine's was. Uh, hundred thousand to your family. Hundred thousand to my family and divvy it up that way. Hundred thousand yourself. Hundred thousand to myself. He asked me, "What am I putting in my checking account?" I'm giving myself a hundred thousand. That's he, it. He say, "Put a Harold's chicken in the middle of." Fam, have you ever <laughs> had Harold's chicken? Me or him? You both of you. Oh, my phone died. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Have you ever had Harold's chicken? No. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Damn, I'm, I'm, my phone I'm, died. I'm, 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 I'm franchising something. I mean, he could charge it right here if you want to charge it. Yeah, let's charge it up, man. Do I got to? Nah, I don't got to unplug it. It's, it's, don't try to snatch it, though. I got you, Brody. I got yeah. you. Um, Because if we get people on here, that can make it, you know, no, drive it out yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I'll get you off car for sure. But no, yeah. I never had a Harris chicken, though. I never had a exactly. Harris chicken. Exactly. But, but, but my thing I'm is. I'm franchising like, something and I'm getting wow. some real estate. That's going to make me more money. <laughs> okay. That's the first thing you're going to franchise. Yeah, I want to. I, I, I want to. I've always wanted to franchise something. Okay. Like, I want to franchise Wingstop. That's something that I want to do. The biggest boss. Yeah. Shout out to Rick Rose. Rose. Uh, uh, that's that's something, music. That's something that I would like to do. <laughs> I, I, I have a dream to front. Or I had, I had, and have a dream to franchise a Wingstop. Really? Yes. That's something that I would like to do. Mm-hmm. Definitely. How, uh, much, how much? How much does that cost? You think? I don't. I, I don't know. Much? I know Chick Fil A is like ten thousand dollars or something like that. You gotta have or something. I think it's ten. I don't know how. Tropical smoothie is like twenty. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Franchise something because that shit is gonna make me more money. So if it is, say let's just say Harold's Chicken is thirty thousand franchise in Cincinnati. When you when everything is done, thirty thousand franchise it. Boom, another seventy to get the building. And get the location, prime location between mm-hmm. them, black and white folks. That's a hundred thousand gone. Now what? I still have money. <laughs> what you mean? Now, now I want to know where it goes. I told you where it goes. Real estate. Okay. So what was that? Four hundred fifty thousand. All go to real estate. It was. It was. It was five. It was five hundred and fifty. And then you just broke down the numbers of. Of it cost me a hundred thousand to franchise this Harold's. Right now we all now we're assuming that this is going to be a successful business. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like like this is successful business. So exactly. Um, this Harold's chicken is I'm 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 putting a hundred thousand toward that. It's, right, so I got four hundred uh uh four hundred and fifty left. Okay, I gotta have somewhere to stay, and I'm probably going going to pay this property off, what, and then rent it out. Okay, to so make to more stay. money. What type of crib are you gonna get? You gonna get yourself an apartment or a house? Uh, and are you gonna buy a new car? No, I'm keeping my car that I got. Same car. Yes. Okay. House or an apartment? What four hundred and fifty thousand? Yeah, I mean, you, I can probably get an apartment and I can put tenants in it. No, 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 no. no. You, I think you're missing the question. For you to live in. Oh, for me to live in. Yeah, don't. This, I'm getting no, an apartment. I can put tenants in it. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Not, we are doing that. No, I can take you, one of the rooms and live in it, and then I can have other rooms for my tenants. So a multifamily. Yes. Okay. Instead, no. no say, yes. Yeah. Instead, say that instead of a. Uh, but an you apartment. ask me apartment or house. I can buy an apartment. I can buy an apartment building. I understand that. Fix it up. A multifamily, be, basically. That's all it is. I don't think a multifamily uh, is the same. When you say multifamily, I, it's it's a house. It's not an apartment building. Oh, so apartment you're saying, building you're is just an apartment building. You say an apartment building with like fifteen units in it, and you live in one and just rent. It. It, I mean, it could be fifteen, or it could eight. be five, it can yeah. be three, it can be seven, it can be however much I'm getting for that four hundred and fifty thousand. That's what I'm taking. So, you, so it might not be the so best. So your whole, your rest of your four hundred fifty thousand is going on that, on where you live at. I'm gonna try not to have it go to where I live at, but say yes, it's, say it's two hundred thousand. 
Okay, two hundred thousand. I'm Boom. cool with that. Boom. I'm taking two hundred thousand and I'm getting me real estate. Right. Eight units, whatever. Right. And you gonna live in that building? I'm, I'll live in that building, or I can live where I live currently and then just remodel it and then boom. Okay. Why well, am just trying to? Okay. All right. So let's just say two hundred thousand there. That's what you live in. It. Cool. Right. Yeah. Now how much you got left? Two hundred thousand. Right. Uh, two hundred and fifty thousand. Two hundred and fifty thousand left. Where are you going with that? <clears throat> I don't fucking know. I'm putting it in savings. I'm saving it. No, I'm investing it. Well, you already got investments. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I'm investing that too. Nah, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's, let's, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take another fifty thousand. Buy some clothes. Buy some shoes. Buy some jewelry. Some shit that has no value to it. Yeah. Okay. Just fifty thousand. I still have two hundred thousand left. Okay. I mean, hey. I'm going to buy some shit that don't have no value so I can feel good when I put these shoes on or put these clothes on. Maybe buy myself some glasses. Maybe buy myself some some nice little smell good. You know what I'm saying? Different shit like that. I'm going to buy some shit that don't have any value because I done already bought shit that got value and that's going to accu- uh, accumulate value. Right. So I feel like I can, you know. The phone, the phone died. Hold on. We're going to get you back on here. It's gonna die again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got about How long you charged it for? Percent. Keep that right there. Can you hear us? Yeah. All right. Perfect. So we got you on the podcast. Um, tell me your Instagram name, Twitter name. Tell me all your social media real quick. Uh, my name is Reggie Rebels. My Twitter is uh, Rat Blues. Okay. Uh-uh. All right. Um, let me see if I can do this. Oh no, I can't. I can't do that. Never mind. That's that's not the right way. So you said with your million dollars, what are you gonna do with it? Um. Definitely. If I if I had a million dollars, um, load up. We uh get some. We first cop some trucks, cop some groceries, cop a million dollars worth of groceries. Um, well, you said a hundred million, or you said no, a, a million, million, a million, a million. Yeah. yeah well, you trucks. well he just said a couple million dollars of groceries. Okay. If, well, I, had a, if I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I would cop a couple trucks. And then I would cop a couple gro a couple million dollars worth of groceries. <laughs> then I was, <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm confused. I would, no, I would cop some trucks. I would, I would bag up some groceries and million dollars uh-huh. worth of groceries. I make sure every dollar is spent and put it into that. And then cop some resources, which would be the community, and bring them with me. And we distribute these groceries the right way throughout our country. And then probably after that, I'll probably have the information and the wherewithal because you got to remember, I just said I cop some trucks. So what do I own? Now I own trucks. So now Are you talking about big truck. big uh yeah 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 So now I own my own trucks. Right. So now I'm gonna put those to work. Who, 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 my question is who are you feeding first? Who, where, oh, where, where, my feet, or where am I coming first? Yeah, like where are you going to drop the grocery job first? It all depends on where I'm at and where like where I'm at within the within the within the range of getting it because it all depends on where you at. You can't just get it from anywhere because every city has their own agricultural spaces and institutions that they deal with. So, uh, I mean, I'm here in New York. The first place I would go if I was in New York, uh, I would definitely probably go to the Bronx. Then I would go to the Lower East Side. And then if I was in Cincinnati, I would go um, I would go to Covington and I would go to Over the Rhine. What about overseas? Overseas, if I was going overseas, I would definitely um, I would definitely I would definitely go to, to, to Africa for sure. Hmm. I would definitely go to Africa for sure. Okay. Then, What's the priority? Then, What's the priority? priority? What you mean? Between here and overseas. What you mean the priority? What do you mean? Like yeah, what would you, you say? You was gonna feed, 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 oh, feed well, people. That, What's the priority? In, 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 that, in that case, of course, we would have to structuralize the plan. So we would come up with a plan. You know what I'm saying? So basically, we would probably have to take 500k and break it up and say, okay, if we're gonna do, do this on an international scale, we're gonna take 500 here, 500 there. So you're gonna cop some trucks here in the, in the states. At a good price, and then you're gonna do five hundred thousand in groceries. You know what I'm saying? Then you're gonna get that off, and then you're gonna hide that into a business. So that's a registered business already. I already got a million dollars and I got groceries already over here, along with trucks that's working. Then I'm gonna figure out to register my shit overseas or to link up with some other resources and community and community leaders, and then figure out a way to institutionalize some programs that can be beneficial for the other lower income housing projects over there because they have a whole different structure than over here. You know what I'm saying? And then break five hundred thousand up between America and um and Europe or Africa or wherever I, wherever we choose to go. It all depends. But the first place I would probably be is here, which is home base. You know what I'm saying? Very very mature and and um unselfish answer. I like that. 
Oh yeah, because it's about community. It's about community and uplifting our community, and our serve and our time spent here on Earth is our service to others. So, so what does the money mean to you? The money, oh, my, the million crazy. dollars. What does it? What does it mean? Being that you're going to be unselfish like that, what does it mean for you? Because it's priceless. You can't. What you? What I got? You can't buy at the store. So if I if I got a million dollars then, then I'm pretty sure that a million dollars and that means that means showing me some sort of monetary value of what it's worth. But I'm not really focused on the result. That would be the result of throughout the process. But by that time, the experience has already been gained to where I'm not even concerned with myself with the money. I'm more concerned with myself and how can I help and be of service? Because thinking of money is more of thinking of an ego. Thinking of, of being of service is part of the ego. So we got to divide ourselves into two and say, okay, am I ego or am I eco? Because if I'm ego, then I'm just saying, hey, I'm a cop this, I'm a cop that. Okay, because a hundred thousand really ain't a lot. Because once you go to the once you once you go to the store and cop some, now you at you 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 already at what you at what ninety nine you at ninety nine thousand. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna stop you right there because you said something that was real, real, real dope. You said, are you? Are you ego or are you eco? Let me give this man a round of applause for that. Yes, sir. That shit was great. I enjoyed yeah. that, that. That that need. Uh, hold on, we are gonna keep the round of applause going, and we are gonna hit the air horns because I like. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Are you ego or are you eco? I really T- like. Tell that. him your name one more time. Tell him your Instagram name. Give him uh, all the information. Give him everything you do. <laughs> My name is Reggie Rebels. My Twitter is Rap Blue. It's your brother? Yeah, my older brother. Okay. All right. And check out my new project, The Blue Matador, and the same available now on Spotify. Okay. We got to play that. We're going to play that. We're going to play that. Or can you play it out loud for us? But yeah, it's Wait, very what? important. That, he's, uh, he's, he's an artist. Do you yeah, have the, the music? It's very important as a it's, uh, it's very important as a Spotify. artist. Spotify. And it's, it's what, where I am and using my platform for something bigger than myself because, see, when we do that, things don't grow by themselves. They grow in unison. The collaboration is what brought us here. They even asked, yo, what would we do with a million dollars? So mom and daddy, that was the, that was a collaboration. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now we're here. That that was the e- that was the eco. Mm-hmm. Now we got to get outside of ourselves and say, okay, the ego wants some shit, needs some shit. But for real, for real, if we know that, that they, we are enough, then we can be shit. able to serve out of ourselves. But we got to love ourselves first because self-love is the highest form of self-discipline. Facts. That's a that's a that's a hell of a definition. That's a. Mm. But I appreciate y'all having me on your show, though. Thank you, man. We uh, Rebels is is phoning people. This is very unexpected, organic for me. I thought we was gonna come in here and talk some shit, but he, he, he called the people. So. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Hell yeah, yeah, man. Yo, keep doing your thing, man. Hey, uh, soon as uh, uh things start to come together, uh, as far as this podcast, we gonna shoot out there, get you on the show. Oh man, for sure, man. Keep rocking it. You it already it already started. Yeah. See, yeah. I mean, you own the show right now, but yeah. as far as in yeah, person, exactly. that's, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. We can yeah. do it in, in the boxing ring. We can record in the boxing ring. That's what I was telling you about. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm with that 100. percent I ain't right, never been to New York anyway, so I got to get out there. Bet. All right. Yep. Yeah, phone's about to die. We about to get off of here, man. Thanks. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. And there you have it, people. Revels with the unexpected the phone call. Give me a charger. And uh, I think nah, that even, was dope. Yeah. Nah, no, that was dope. We got to get there. That's the one that that. that. Are you ego, or are, are you, you ego? <laughs> <laughs> I like that shit. I like that. Hey I like man, it. I like that. that All right, good. well, uh, hold on. Let's do some quick hits very quick. All right, uh, uh, we can get out of here. Um, are you actually, ego? nah, we can get off that. Uh, I I do want to say that uh, Kendrick Lamar. I think he's about to drop an album. I think is May thirteenth. I can't wait for that shit. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, yeah, share, <laughs> I, uh, I comment. To to. Uh, I'm Rebels. I'm Dez. Let me figure out if I need anything. Else, if I'm if I'm missing anything, I don't know. Follow everything. TikTok it's gonna be in the description below. Yep, Rebels. In, in the description below. Uh, Dez Rebels. Yeah. Uh, and we on to the next baby. Yeah, on to the next. Hey.